Fog harvesting is the name given to the process of collecting drinking water from fog. Fog is a type of cloud that is found lower to the ground than regular clouds. If you have ever walked through a fog, you may have noticed it felt wet. This is because fog is made of tiny water droplets, which are much smaller than drops of rain. The fog droplets don't fall to the ground because their very small size makes them lighter than air. We can trap these floating fog particles as they come close to the ground and turn them into drinking water that we can use. Fog harvesting is very important because it is a way to obtain clean drinking water in areas of the world where there is not enough. The statistics show that billions of people need more clean water and are suffering because of water which is filled with bacteria and disease. In Africa, over 50% of the land suffers from insufficient rainfall. These regions are orange and brown on the map and include countries like Ethiopia, Kenya and Somalia. People have to travel many miles for water and even then it is often unclean and can cause serious illness. Therefore it is vital to find new sources of clean water like water from fog harvesting. In the Namib Desert on the southwest coast of Africa even though there is very little rainfall there are regular fogs which pass over the land from the sea. These fogs can be harvested to collect water for people living in the region. Despite the desert conditions, plants and animals have managed to survive with very little rain. How do they do this? The answer is that they have adapted and evolved to cope with the conditions. Many plants have developed so that their leaves absorb water from moisture in the air, whereas the black-backed jackal gets water by licking the moisture off rocks. There is one animal in particular found in the Namib desert that scientists have attempted to copy because of the very clever way it collects water from fog. This is the Namib desert beetle. The beetle's back is covered in small bumps which attract the water droplets in fog, pulling them onto the surface of the back. However, on parts of the back where there are no bumps, water is repelled and pushed away like we see for water repellent clothing. The beetle uses its back to first trap water on the bumps, then by tilting its back upwards the trapped water droplets can roll down the repellent flat surface into the beetle's mouth. Scientists trying to copy the beetle have made bumpy surfaces where there are bumps which attract water and flat areas that repel water. The idea is to put these surfaces in areas with a lot of fog but very little rainfall so the surface can trap fog droplets which will then roll off into a container to be used for drinking water. A big advantage of fog harvesting is that the water collected is clean. Water in rivers and wells is unclean whereas rain or fog water has not been contaminated. Large fog harvesting nets have already been set up in different countries around the world. These large nets can capture lots of drinking water a day in foggy areas. Although the nets provide clean water, the amount that they can collect from fog could still be vastly improved using biomimetics. Countries in the world which have set up fog harvesting nets are shown on the map. The nets have been set up in places where there is fog which can be harvested but also in areas where people need more clean drinking water. In this section we have talked about fog harvesting. We have learnt how fog harvesting collects water from fog and how this can help people obtain water. This is important as there are billions of people around the world who don't have access to enough clean water to live. We then saw plants and animals of the Namib Desert in Africa that have evolved to collect water from fog. By copying these plants and animals, scientists are trying to improve fog harvesting nets to collect as much water as possible 
to help some of the billions of people around the world in need.